Trophy Superstore Premier League. Proudly supported by the Trophy Superstore. For all your trophies, awards and more. Welcome to the FBTV feature game. I'm Darren Lutton. It's finals time and we're at Terralba Park for the Trophy Superstore Premier League elimination final between Mitchelton FC and Peninsula Power. The winner of this game plays the loser of the East's Lion semi-final tomorrow. Let's get straight to the action. Calling the game is Rafe Griffin. Thanks very much, Darren. Mitchelton coach Sam Safe watching his charges go through their final paces. Prior to kick off, so too is the Peninsula Power Coach, Terry Kirkham. Here are the team lineups for this elimination semi-final. The loser start preparing for 2016. Should they be unsuccessful here this evening at Terrelba Park? Anton Chetinian has the whistle for this one. He'll be assisted by Paul Eldridge and Matt Mayle. And it'll be Peninsula to get us underway in this first half. Byron Napa sending the ball forward. And first throw in of the evening will come Mitchelton's way. The other end of the park corner for Mitchelton. It's almost full there for Laxton, cleared away by Peninsula. Foster. And forward here in the direction of McCoola, who's still forward after that corner. Gets his cross in. Jensen misses it, it takes a deflection, and Jay Mehmet has the opening goal here for Mitchelton. McCooler slides past Jensen, Mehmet takes a touch off Trent McAvoy, Reese please therefore wrong footed, and can only see the ball sailing into the back of the nets. Yeah, unfortunate foot there from McAvoy. Head goes down. And Peninsula. 1-0 oh, down here early on. And Mitchelton again threatening. Laxton straight to Reesby that time. And they're off Maria. Now Laxton on here for McGowan. Tries to chip. Reesby, but over the bar, let's take another look at that one. Was he offside? It's a marginal call. Might be just in line with that defender there at the back. But at the end, it's ultimately not going to count. Laxton again in the thick of things there for Mitchelton. McCooler heads it on there, and Cleary... Sends his shot wide there at the end. A bit of miscommunication there, perhaps, between Lumley and McCooler. Now momentum. Appearing to have switched Peninsula's way. This is Swain. Goes down. And free kick at the edge of the box. McCooler giving away the foul. And going into the referee's notebook. Oh, and... Uh, was that perhaps inside the box? where the contact was made. Anton Chitinian was in good position. Free kick taken. Sliding past the back post there from Chris Swain. Reesby on for Morea. Actually looking to desperately clear their defence there. Austin's gone down the background. Play continues here for Mehmet. Off Napa. And we'll come back to... That incident where it appears as though Bernardi and Jared Austin have collided. A sip of drink there for the Peninsula captain. Looks like he'll be right to continue. So we're deep into injury time now in this first half. Mitchelton perhaps with the final chance here to extend their lead. Fagura cut out. They persist here. Laxton zeroes in on goal. And hands on head. Laxton has certainly been busy for the home side so far. Here's the goal scorer, Mehmet. Getting towards the byline. And... Uh, 
Was there a touch off Reesby? No, says referee Anton Chetinian. Goal kick will be the result. Now Austin in attack for Power. It's a searching little cross in there. Mitchell in defence just unable to deal with it. So far, saved there by Lumley from Maria's shot. Rulston now. And just can't keep it within the confines of the white lines. But that was a sharp chance there by Jonathan Maria. Equally good save from Will Lumley. Turned by Jeske. Going in the wrong direction. Mitchell eventually now put it forward. Here's Miguel and he's met by Reesby. And Napa there to tidy up. Austin plays it square. On for Napa. Peninsula try their chance down that left hand side. Sauer on there for Rulston. Sauer continuing on his run. Ball into the box, headed on! Stephen Cleary's found the equaliser. Well, jubilation from the Peninsula players and their supporters. Stephen Cleary able to head across. Will Lumley there will get a good angle on this from the Packfire Australia GoPro replay. And despite the outstretched hand of Will Lumley, Mitchelton have conceded. And now we're back on level terms with just over 15 to play. And Hornby the substitute looking to add to the tally. Desperate scrambling defence. And eventually ends up in the hands of Will Lumley. And was there contact there by Lumley on Cleary? Not significant enough in the opinion of Anton Chetinian. Now supporters looking for the free kick. Now it breaks here for Stubbins. And the assistance flags up. And uh, Reesby just remains down there. And uh, Stubbins trying to round Jake Reesby. Wouldn't have counted in the end anyway. Reesby flat on his back now at least uh, sitting up and now back on two feet so this match delicately poised here as we hit the end of 90 minutes will McGowan have something to say about it Reesby was forced deep off his line here come Mitchelton again this is Jansen. Into stoppage time. That ball falls ahead there. Desperate effort there to keep it in. But unable to do so. Third minute of stoppage time. We look destined to extra time. Cleary knocks it on for Maria. Here come Power. Now they threaten. And Cleary, second header of the goal on night. And Power looked to have clinched this one at the death. Sauer. Ball in towards the back post. Headed on by Cleary past Lumley. And Peninsula season looks to remain alive here in 2015. Hands on head there from the Mitchelton players. And Peninsula have the lead for the first time in this match. Three minutes into stoppage time. Bernardi. A last ditch desperate effort here for Mitchelton. Saved by Reesby. And then Jeske shoots wide. Referee Anton Chetinian blows the full time whistle. Peninsula have eliminated Mitchelton from the final series 
in a 2-1 victory away from home. All right, Sam, uh, bad luck tonight. What were your thoughts on the game? Well, football's a very, very cruel game, isn't it? Very, very cruel game. We've, we've had all the chances in the game. They've had two, and our goalkeepers pulled one save off, and they've scored two goals. Twice now against Mitchell, uh, uh, when we played Peninsula, they've scored in the 93rd minute, and there's no way we should have come off that field losing. And uh, I feel really, really for the players. It's heartbreaking for them, because they've virtually dominated in chances. Uh, but that's football. Uh, the team that we had out there did magnificent. So, I, as we can't complain. Uh, our goal this year was three goals that were sustained the Premier League. Try and finish above fifth. We did that. And uh, they finished uh, the highest position they've finished in 95 years, which is third. So, we, we've achieved well above his goals. But still, we should have gone through tonight. I agree that you were the, the better team in the first half. When uh, Power started to put some pressure on you in the second, were you making any changes, any adjustments? Well, no, uh, Power did have uh, a lot of ball in second half. But apart from the two crosses for goals and the one the goalkeeper saved, we had nothing to do. And also, we still had about four chances in the second half. Beautiful chances that sh we should have scored. And, also, and uh, it shows you we've had a cross half a metre uh, and it's a goal to be leading 2-1. They've had a cross and it's gone straight on his head. And that happens in football. That just happens. All right, so uh, season's over now for you. Is there anyone that you'd like to, to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone at Mitchelton. The board have been uh, magnificent. Uh, Roger, the president. Leo Suriani for bringing me here. And uh, my two coaches, Paul Edwards and Billy Ingledew, uh, have been a godsend uh, this year. And we've really had to work hard uh, with the players that we've lost, uh, really. Uh, so, yeah, I'd really like to thank them because you're only as good as the team behind you. Congratulations, Terry. What did you think of the game? I oh, know, it was a good game. We uh, were under pressure in the first half just with the way that the game went. But, um, you know, we wanted to, we've been playing a particular way all year and we stayed with it. And, you know, the second half, you know, we took control of the game, I thought. And, and you know, we did very, very well. But first half, they had a couple of chances, though. Um, but you know, all credit to our boys. We didn't we didn't change anything that you know we didn't change our game plan. Boys didn't panic, and you know, just look at the goals that we scored. It was you know the way we want to play football. So you didn't make any changes at half time, but it must have been a, a mental, different mental approach to the second half, perhaps. No, we just had to deal with the long their long ball, and you know, the, the first um, the first half there was a lot of bouncing balls. So if you actually have a look at it, uh, there was you know we had to deal with a lot a lot of secondary balls. But on the stats, um, you know, we, we controlled a lot of the possession and a lot of the passing. So our, our numbers for passing was up, but every time it became a 50-50 ball or Mitchie got the ball, you know, they, they played more direct and then we had to try and fight to get it back. I think in the second half, we got control of the ball a lot more. We got to play it on the ground, we got a lot more space and, uh, and you know, and we controlled the ball well and we did quite well. First win in a few weeks now that uh, you must be looking to build some momentum now and uh, knock off one of the other two teams next week. Well, look, we look. You know, I think the, the last four four weeks we, we had that three you know that three run of losses, but you know well, there was reasons for that. We went to uni and uh, we got back to, to the winning form there. And but you know it's a different ball game tonight. You know we, the league for us to finish fourth is now out of the way, and we're now playing more of a in a champions type league, you know system, I suppose. And we're at number four, and after tonight now now we're number three. And if I remember at the start of the season, we started the season number ten. So season number 10 to number 4, now we're number 4 to number 3, and hopefully next week we can go to number 2. And just finally, who's your tailor? Sorry? Who's your tailor? I oh, know, this is um, you know, a couple of guys in from Melbourne, and um, you know, the suit, suit here tonight's for uh, my mate Mr Tony Jorkus. He's uh, always wanting to, you know, what sort of suits that I wear. I'm a bit disappointed my car spot out there wasn't tonight ready next to his, but uh, no, no, mate, I have to wear suits. It's professional here at Football Brisbane, and as you are as well, and I, I think that's a good positive thing. Trade secret for me. Well done, Terry.